Welcome back everybody to episode uh, 10 of Half of Boyfriend. Last time, we uh, went through the, um, I don't know, spring, uh, no, fall time, and then winter. Now we're um, at the shrine, doing stuff, I guess, as you do. And we just spotted somebody. So who do did we spot? Doctor? Hmm? He's standing a little way away from the crowd. Do partridges have winter plumage? He looks a little fluffier than usual. I wouldn't have expected you to uh, celebrate the new year here, sir. Cele celebrating. <coughs> Excuse me. Celebrating? Hardly. I have no interest in gods, temples, or celebrations. That's... Yep, that's what I thought. So wait, what's he doing here? So what are you here for, sir? I just happen to be passing by. But there's nothing else here. Why would you be? Is it a crime to aimlessly wander the city in the morning? No, I was just wondering. Such a crowd, all at once. And as you said, there's nothing else around here. Who knows if one or two were to disappear? Well then, goodbye, Miss Girk. Happy New Year, creepy doctor man. My creepy doctor man. <laughs> Happy New Year, everyone. Hope you all had a good vacation. Good vacations. I hibernated. What a shocker. Oh. You're still hibernating, sir. Sir, wake up. Wow. Um, I've decided that said this before, but your junior year will be over before you know it. Let's enjoy this some uh, this time while it lasts. There's nothing special this semester. Nothing to worry about. All right, third term. We made it farther than that the first time around. And again, we left school early. It's still light out, so maybe I'll go somewhere before I, hurry, I head home. Whee! Oh, tomorrow's, uh, that. I think I'll buy some beans. Today's, that, is a holiday where you give beans to the boy you like, but apparently it used to, uh, involve throwing them at pigeons. Disgraceful. Clerk, good evening. Here for beans? Yes. Is there a kind that you think uh, is particular, particularly good? This year, the uh, trend is towards those beans that uh, mainly is for racers, but they uh, are a little pricey. It's hard to say without knowing the bird in question, really. Hmm, that's true. And sometimes the cheaper almond tastes better than expensive stuff. Think I'll buy. Huh. No, no, huh, I'm not sure which would be his favorite, swollen hemp maybe, crunchy millet, black beans, uh, no, swollen hemp, I think that's the right one, I'll take these, thank you miss, here you are, today's the day, the preparations are complete. Time to give the beans to the special somebody. I do not recall summoning you to the do you to do uh, today duty duty today. Blech. Words hard. What is it? Doctor seems to be engaged in sweet embrace with a stack of papers on his task. He didn't even look uh, at me, and from his voice, he wants me to leave. Do you know what the day, uh, what today is, Doctor? February 3rd. He glances at the counter above his desk and then returns to his papers. The anniversary of the first successful human embryo transfer. Really? Of course. Test two babies had been successfully grown before, uh, before then. So what... So what did you want? Were you hoping I would transfer you to... 
Any avion over over? Oh my! N no. I'd have to be a really sad girl to be fantasizing about birdie eggs in the school infirmary. It's a uh, blah, sir. You give beans to the boy you like. So here. You're giving these to me. They look like just normal beans. It's the fact that I'm giving them to you today that matters. Your words are meaningless, Bible. Perhaps it's simply you can't perceive the true meaning. Very well, I shall take them. Put them there and leave. I am busy. Okay. No romantic blows from me. Well, hoping for a ransom from him it was probably foolish anyway. Now we will have the doctor. We will be his experimental par partner. We will also experiment on birds all together. This year is almost over. It feels like it started only yesterday. This is the last day. I hope infirmary duty as well. I have infirmary duty as well. The doctor is not here yet. Memory is quiet and peaceful as always. The order, orderly rows of medicines that nearly made by... Maybe, huh? Something stinks in here. It's coming from the bed behind the curtains. I'm scared. Huh? The sheets are stained in brilliant red. At the foot of bed sits a wash ba basin. It's liquid pink with a stack of scissors coated in blood and feathers on in the bottom. The blood on the bed is still wet. This is... The students who disappeared after going to their infirmary. Yoey. That's the mysterious smile the doctor gave them. Then I asked him. I have to get out of here. I have to tell someone. I need to report it. To the police. Anyway, I need to get out of it. Get away. I need to get out before he... You're early today, Miss Kirk. Huh? You're rather pale here. Why don't you lie down? Doctor? This blood. This blood. Oh, forgive me. I just finished dismembering another student and hadn't cleaned up yet. Please pay it no mind. He didn't even try to deny it. He, he. Snark. Huh? The door's locked. Go home so soon? It won't open. Indeed it won't. After all, there are so many bad little boys and girls who tried to leave before their examinations are over, like you. Doctor, you... You really have been cutting people up and using them for your experiments? Do you really need to ask that? After all, you even helped me. Helped you? I wouldn't never... Don't tell me you've forgot, forgotten already. Just at the start of the semester, you helped me destroy a little evidence. You brought back the idea of one of my guinea pigs. I suppose I dropped uh, it by accident. You really helped me out then. We can't leave things out like that lying around now, can we? Then, Yowie? Then, Yowie? What did you do to Yowie? Oh, I thought you figured that out already. He's in here, Miss Kirk. In here. Doctor reaches over and lightly strokes my, my stomach. The... The big one is... Huh? Looks like a roast chicken or maybe a turkey, I'm not sure. Hope you like... People eat uh, on Christmas. It's still warm. He must have had it delivered in a hurry. Of course, technically speaking, he's long since been digested and absorbed into your body, so we don't really know how, how exactly... know exactly where he is now, do we? That... You can't be... No, no. How did you... How did he taste? I was worried he might be a little tough. I did so regret not having a better bird to send you. It simply wouldn't do to have you throw him out. That... That was Yowie? Ah, ah. That's a beautiful face, Miss McGurk. I have longed so dearly to see that face. I could tell from the start that I was... Uh, 
You could tell from the start I was dangerous, couldn't you? And yet you came to see me again and again. Very assertively. No, I just had to come for infirmary duties. Was that really it? You know I planned, it, planned to kill you, and yet you came anyway. Are you sure you didn't have feelings for me, perhaps? No. No, I want to say, but my tongue is like, like lead in my mouth. Maybe it's true. Maybe somewhere deep inside I love the doctor. I'm afraid that I have uh, room for only one love in my life, and that is research. But it would be cruel to ignore your earnesty, and so I put much thought into how I might reward you. Just cutting you up would be a terrible pity, and I think I want, I want to keep you by my side forever. He's going to kill me. I know he's going to kill me, so why can't I move? And so, this is what I decided. I shall preserve uh, only your head. It will be easily stored, of course. I kind of let such a rare sound, sample slip by, so I will remove your brain. Why can't I pull my eyes from his? From the neck down, I shall cut you up and study you thoroughly. Don't worry. You won't, you won't go to waste. I will make sure they examine your insides. Won't most intimately. Suddenly he has a clever cleaver in his left wing. You have chased after death the lore most uh, diligently. I suppose you are too afraid to speak now. For a moment my vision shifts to the ceiling. The wall, the floor, my eyes rolling wildly. The world twists soaked in red. And so my life came to an end. We have an emergency report from the uh, bleh, project. The researcher we uh, dispatched to the school has stolen a highly classified sample and fled. He took sample HB87, the human head. The human head. We have not confirmed that he is armed. We have sealed off the area. He seems to be acting alone, so our retrieval squad should take care of everything quickly. Please help yourselves. The cheese Danish are rather good. Okay. Team Danish is rather good. Hmph. Have those root no brutes no mercy. Though I did agree to this front from the start. Oh. <laughs> Seems to be in a bit of a pickle, Miss Girk. They suddenly asked what I gave you that I give you to them. And to think that until now they considered you worthless. I was the one who preserved you so beautifully. You like that the jar, do you not? Do you know of the mere exposure mere exposure effect? It states that one cannot become attracted to things simply through repeated contact with it, with them. A conundrum indeed. I think perhaps I have left felt new emotions since I required you. We have built little time left together, I fear. I do not like you. The idea of handing you over to them. So I think I shall break you once more. Of course, do not wish for, to force you into a du double suicide. I shall uh, break the glass only after conf confirming your feelings. You love me, did you not? <laughs> I can always say yes. Yes. Ho 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 Thank you. I am so glad I got to kill you. Good night, Miss Kirk. Contact in the water. Left side. Weapons free. Take him down. Pew. <laughs> How wonderful. So uh, we dated the, tried to get the um, Dr. Lovis, instead he murdered us and carried our head around for a while. How happy. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. Uh. Wasn't that fun? <laughs> the happy couple. Alright. That was fun and... Ridiculous. 
I'll let you, uh... I'll end it uh, around here, but I'll let you discover your own, the own uh, other pathways you can go in this game yourself. So uh, look forward to a new game next uh, weekend. So until next time, remember embrace the chaos, or you're probably gonna die by a bird pit, by a bird. See you next time. Bye.